Plastic is everywhere, and one local lab is using filters to show it's in everything. Every sip of water you take, whether it's out of a tap or bottle, water that's in soda or in beer. Well, that one lab at the U of R is filtering out this plastic and wants to figure out what to do about all this. James Gilbert has the story. A small glass of water. We're going to filter it through our membrane. Grad student Daniel Ahmed is putting it through a tiny filter. They test all different sources. The first set of experiments I ever ran with tap water was with the third floor drinking fountain. That's where I go to fill up my water bottle every single day. Look at this. This looks clear. This looks clean. But in reality, there's so much there that you can't see. Um, when you get the microscope, really, uh, here's a clean filter. Her, and after uh, the water goes go. through... Oh, I think we caught a glass shard on there, too. Plastic. A Brita may filter some, but nothing like this. These microplastics are incredibly small. You think about just dirt on a baseball field, we're talking about five times smaller. Greg Medeski says the science is so new, there's no evidence of human harm yet. We can see uh, the accumulation of this stuff in animals. We can see it migrate into different organ systems. Nothing has been shown in humans yet. He says one day they may be able to get these filters to a larger scale, like for Hemlock Lake. But in the meantime, plastic is in all liquids. I actually maybe stop using the water fountain for a bit. I've kind of uh, you know, tapered off from there. I'm like, I reluctantly go there and you know, fill it up. This unavoidable plastic is now part of our world, as much as it is part of our lives. James Gilbert. News 8. Um. About 5 million tons of plastic will be produced in the next decade. The best advice from these scientists, reduce, reuse, and recycle.